Crafty Peeps, this is Angel Holt with Angel Holt Designs. I'm here to show you uh, two fabulous um, ways you can make some ornaments. You can make these as gifts or whatever you want to do. Um, but they are using some digital downloads that you can get over on my Etsy. I made these uh, specifically for ornaments. But you can use these for just about anything. They're about five inches tall. Some are smaller. These are all ballerinas. Like, I cut this one out to use there. These are all ballerinas. And this one, I think I'm going to change out. Um, I am not happy. It's, it's beautiful. But... I need to work with the color. It might be my printer. I don't know. Um, I will add it to the thing. And if y'all have trouble um, with this, I will just send y'all the um, just the photo uh, or the original with the color and then let y'all um, do it for free. I'll just put that there for free. Um, in fact, probably with the download, I'll just have that this picture um, as a free part so but I also got uh this one that I thought she was really cute I added some pink to her and then this one is just a simple uh, another ballerina so let's get started um okay yes uh I hurt my finger really bad um I ripped my fingernail off so um uh, please excuse me on that part if it grosses you out okay so um, I've pulled out some tchotchkes and everything, and I have fussy cutted out my uh, two ballerinas I want to work with. I have a little girl, and I have a, a woman ballerina. And uh, I printed these off on a heavy cardstock, which is just a heavy white cardstock. Not too heavy, but enough to withstand uh, fussy cutting and working with uh, the project. Okay, so one of these, um, I am going to put the larger uh, butterfly on the set of wings. These wings were purchased at Hobby Lobby. Um, they're glittered wings, and it's an ornament, and it has a little flat um, base there. And it sits perfectly with, I measured it to where it would look good on this. So if you have these wings and you want to use these wings um, or you want to purchase these wings at Hobby Lobby, you can. Um, in fact, Hobby Lobby has all their stuff 50% off right now. So I would go and uh, do that. But I want to decorate her first. So the first thing I'm going to do is I noticed that she, um, you know, she has some pretty things here. And what I want to do, I'm going to try it. It might not work. I might have to do this one on her. I was wanting to put a tulle skirt just, you know, kind of like this, you know, like um, fold little pieces of tulle. And kind of put it like that and then take the chain I have well let me try something I'm gonna try it I, I am daring and I'm going to try it so we're gonna see how this looks so just grab your tool and you're going to bend it or fold it and here we go Of course, you can decorate your um, ballerina or fairy, which is or angel, um, any way you want to. Okay, I am using a um, a cream color tool, and I'm going to snip as I go because what we're going to do is simply fold, kind of. Wrench it out there. And I'm going with the pattern of her um, skirt here. Just kind of going with the pattern there. It has done nothing. I don't know um, 
any of y'all are getting affected with the rain, but it has done nothing but rain since 3 o'clock this morning, and it is not planning to stop. For a while, it's wet, icky, and perfect uh, time to craft. There we go. Just keep going. Now, right here, I'm going to feel that area right there with just a little bit of tool. There we go. Okay. All right, let me add a glue stick. Okay. I think this is sort of cute. I'm liking this. When you do it in pieces like this, it's a lot easier to control. Then we're going to go on around. Try to make sure that you see. Go on around like this. Okay, Let's trim. Now I'm going to get some more tool. I have been working with glitter, you know, like decorating for Christmas, and I'm telling you, I have found glitter everywhere, bathtub, on the toilet, on the counters. I do not know how glitter can get in areas that it just does not need to be, and it's so hard to clean up. I have been having to go around the house with uh, packaging tape and just everywhere um, to get the glitter off of stuff. Okay, so I am going to trim this part and then trim right there. Now, I'm going to go back in and add some tool right there. Oh, this is so pretty. It turned out cute, cute. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I love it. I love it. Comment below if you love it. I love it. Okay. It's so frou frou. Okay, I'm going to put some more over here because this is really thick. 
it's got to be symmetrical. Do, do, do. Now, I've been trying uh, to not let my fibromyalgia take over my life. <laughs> Um, I craft through my pain. I have been uh, decorating, but I do take my breaks. And I've noticed I've been going to bed a lot earlier than I normally do. So I try not to allow my fibromyalgia to cause me insomnia. Um, I have started taking my meds at a different time and just kind of watching what I eat um, and things that would keep me up and it seems like the more rest I get the better I feel so and um, getting over still mourning my grandmother and the death of my cat <sighs> but it, it's, it, it's totally getting a lot better um, this year Many of you that have been watching me for years um, have probably seen a huge difference in me and in my online uh, classes, and that was due to a lot of stress, um, sickness, uh, caregiving. It was just, and it's all finally eased up and went away and now I can get back to what I love to do and I do want to grow my other channel my beauty channel because that is a passion of mine as well okay so now here is some uh, rhinestone trim and Hold on. Oh, where my camera go? Okay. Let's see. First, before you put anything down, you want to go ahead and just like lay it down and see if this is something you want to do. You know. Yeah, it's definitely something I want to do. <laughs> okay, so. Um, with this one, okay, as you see, it, it's got a link in between each one. Well, these are made, you can take them and squinch them together to make a solid, um, a solid uh, chain. And what I love about it with the links is that it bends a lot easier around curves like we're going to do here. And it still looks good. So when you buy your Damonte chain or your rhinestone chain, I would suggest buying it with the links uh, in between so that you can work with it. Um, it normally comes like that, but I would definitely suggest um, definitely buying it this way because you have more, more uh, to work with. And when you work with it and glue it, you're going to do it in sections. You're going to start with your first one. And then you're just going to squeeze them together like that. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then you're going to, now you can use hot glue or you can use your um, glossy accents for this. Glossy accents will give you a little more time. Hot glue will instantly um, glue it. As you see there, I'm squeezing it together. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. There we go. Just push it together like that. And it falls 
right into the shape that you need it to fall in. There we go. Isn't that pretty? And just push, 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 push. You can use your tweezers with this. I am using my fingernail. Yeah, I snagged my fingernail on my kitchen drawer and it ripped it off and I haven't repaired it yet. It's still sore. And if you get glue on your um, your chain you can just snip it off like I'm doing here and just clean up the area and then the you're going to snip it off right there and you're going to glue the last chain or link on there like that. Ugh, I hate blue webs. What the heck? So there we go. Isn't she pretty? Okay, now she has a V um, shape in her dress here. And I cut this out from a piece of embroidering I had. Here's my fabric scissor and I wanted to see if this would look good okay I'm just cleaning that up there I think You know what? I'm going to trim it right here. Trim it on that side. Then trim it down. And one of the pearls fell off. But I have. I like that. I actually like that. So what I'm going to do is, um, hmm, those look like wings. I found that in embroidering. Um, hmm. I have bling. <laughs> I have bling, y'all. I have Something fell. I have bling. <laughs> Lord, 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 Lord. Yeah. Um, hey. Hold on. Hold the phone, hold the phone. Hold the phone, hold the phone. Um, y'all probably going to ask me where I got all this bling and it is a collection I order from a manufacturer I order from everywhere and um, I used to carry uh, my line of a lot of bling but anymore because I just don't look see there's a necklace like a one of those fancy necklaces that turn black you gotta watch stuff like that that's a sign of cheap when it turns black it's a sign of cheap so 
I use really good grade uh, Damonte. And uh, Fiona has really awesome grade Damonte. Let's see. Okay, that goes into a V. Okay, see right here, this is an earring, so you got that piece you can play with, and then you can snip off the earring part like that. Let me see, you've got a so when you go like to um, to grocery, uh, grocery store, Lord, um, yard sales and stuff, buy broken pieces of jewelry, you know, and see maybe this looks good. What I'm showing you here is is how you can. Um, decorate and let's see see that's like a, a cheap um, earring there and then you just snip off the, the post and I like that isn't it pretty? That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I want to finish snipping that off. So I am going to put it right there. Drop it down like that. And she has a beautiful flower here. And you can add a piece of uh, that to there. Or you can do embroidering or stuff like that. But I think what I'm going to do is... I got some stickles. This is from Stampin' Up. It's called Dazzling Details. Um, this is like a diamond color. Um, so I'm going to stickle um, this little flower on here. Ugh. There we go. So I'm going to stickle the little motif on here. Just to give it some sparkles. I like clear stickles. Stickles um, I have been using for over 10 years. And um, for all you newbies out there that really don't want to mess with um, glitter or allergic to glitter. Um, stickles is the way to go um, because see it adds just enough shine and shimmer um, to things and um, in fact I'm just going to stickle all of this right here just give it a, um, a shimmer and see what you can do is you you put it on there and then you can take the nozzle or you can take a uh, a brush let me get a brush you put a dollop on there and this will take about mm, I would say depending on the thickness of your your um, tinsel I mean tinsel huh. the thickness of your um, synth, uh, stickles, um, that will determine the uh, the drying time. 
so now what you want to do is just pick up your extra and just brush it on there like that and we can go on up into her pick up all your extra and you can put it just where you want it like that and then you can put it on her little feather hat or and another thing um, I'm not going to do it on this but with stickles like you've got some left on here or something um, you can stickle um, your tool and I'll show you that real quick like you can take it and if you wanted to you could brush it through like this and it actually stickles and dries with the uh, clear with the shimmer in it and then you have some sparkle in your tool and um, you don't have to deal with tool that is got glitter in it and it goes everywhere because um, glitter is really skin irritating it really is so I'm just going to put a little bit on her ballet shoes just a little bit don't need much just to add some shimmer to her like that and now I'm going to make sure everything is even like that There we go. So pretty. See? She's so pretty. And we didn't do that much to her. So now we're going to put her on the wings like that. And I'm going to leave, hmm. yeah, I'm going to leave that on there. No, i tell you what I'm going to use. I don't want this on there. I'm going to use something different. I don't like that. Um, what do I have that I can use? Ooh, yeah, I'll use this. I'm going to get out a piece of that. There because I like shabby cheeky. I like the shabby cheeky. Okay, I'm gonna feed it Oh my word. Okay, one thing about sorry socks, I can't, I don't know if I, I'm probably chopping the hell out of that name. Uh, the sorry silk is that it ravels really bad and it can get on your living nerve. But it is so pretty and worth it. Baby, it's worth it. It's so worth it. Okay, here we go. Just tie a real pretty knot like that and just give it a trim. I like that better because it goes with what I'm doing. Hmm. Curiosity's killing the cat here. I had a piece of feather. I don't know if I want to use it. Nope, too much. So, I'm just going to keep her 
you like that. My printout printed out blue. There must be something wrong with my damn printer. But, guess what, y'all? She was pretty, and I like it. Okay, here we go. And bam. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. There you go. She's on there. Oh, I love it. Pretty. Okay, that's number one. Okay, let's do number two rather quickly. Okay, I pulled out some metal wings that I had here. And I'm using uh, Gilder's Paste in the silver. And I'm going to show you the magic. You just put some on there. And it will totally change the color of the metal. Gilder's Paste smells like shoe polish to me. And... It stinks, but I like the results. You can also use, um, if you don't like have Gilder's Paste, you can use uh, the Viva Decor, um, what is it, Inca Gold and Silver. I don't know I'm doing these but I don't know how they're going to look but I have a night I have an idea so um, wash right wipe that off on my craft shirt um, I have shirts dedicated to crafting because um, I have ruined some good shirts and I do not wear good shirts when I craft anymore. Like when I when I used to go to crops, I would go really nice. I didn't want nobody, you know, I didn't want to look funky or anything. And um, I would um, wear nice shirts and then end up ruining them. Okay, no, those are too small. But these... These might work, or what about, well, I don't know, or see, this is the dilemma, I'm going to snip this right in half. Snip that off. What do y'all? I don't know. Oh, I think I like that one. Yeah, uh, this is the one I'm going for. Okay, all right, so let's get our placement right. Then I'm just going to glue it on there like that. And then I'm going to do the other one like so. Make sure you get it right. There we go. Cute. Precious. Okay. Um, to decorate her um, skirt. She's such a cute little girl. Um, we can use this feather, you know, like pieces of it. Let's try it. Okay. All right. 
Oof. I don't know. Odin? No, that's not gonna work. Odin, no! My cat's trying to get in here. I don't allow my cats in here. Ooh, wait a minute. I have this lace tool. Snap. Let's see how this looks. Did you get in here, Odin? Odin. Well, yes, you did, you little crook. You little butt. You opened the door. Okay, now we're just going to creech, 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 creech this up like that and do the same thing we did um, for her dress. Odin. Okay, we're going to continue this process on down. Odin. Um, I'm trying to remember where I got that tool, lace, uh, lace tool. I think it was, uh, oh, I know where it was, uh, Create for Less. I got it at Create for Less. I'm pretty sure that's where I got it. Um, I'm just... Okay. Odin. And as you see here, I'm just crunching it up like that. This uh, tool is kind of stiff, which is really awesome. Um, you can make angel wings out of it. Um, you know, use just a little bit of stiffener on it and stiffen it even more. And... Um, just do it that way okay now right here i'm going to trim just a little bit here because Just a little bit right there. There we go. All right, now I'm going to trim the skirt in the pattern. Now, I don't know if I like this or not. I'm just, I'm messing around right now. Let's 
There's a little bit of glue there. Because she's holding her dress, so okay, I'm going to put a little bit more on this end. Just a tad. You can make these any way you want. Um, it's just the fun of doing it. You know. And I think what I'm going to do is kind of trim it, you know, not so perfect to kind of give it some different textured look here like that. Because it's very, I'm trying to make her look shabby, chicy, you know, torn and I think I'm going to use a couple of pieces of this sari trim here. I'm actually going to lift up her dress, lift up this, and slip a couple of pieces in there like that. Like that. Then Where's another piece here? Okay, my madness is working. I'm, I'm working my madness here, y'all. I know this video is long, but I am teaching um, y'all how you can um, use other things. Like I'm gonna put a piece of tool up in here just to give it, um, give her skirt a different texture or a different look to it and just fold it like we did before and slip it in there like that. Um, let's see gonna kind of trim away some of this see it doesn't look so perfect um, in fact I'm gonna put a touch of pearl in there um, some pearl uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, let's lift up her dress here. Put a little bit of pearl in there like that. Have it hanging down like that. Then we're going to put some on the top here, like right there. Just put a little bit of pearl like that. Trim this up a little bit. Oh, it's starting to look very shabby chic. Um, let's see. Um, like, hmm. We would have to trim it like right there. Okay. And trim it like right there. 
right there. And kind of trim a little scoop like that. Aw, how sweet is this? Okay, I like it. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to put <clears throat> hot glue like that. <clears throat> I think I swallowed a feather particle just flying around. Aw, this is so cute. That's so cute. Oh, I want to do, I'm going to put a little more tool. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's put a touch of feather. Let's put a touch of feather up in there. Okay, hang on. Oh, when an idea hits me, I get so excited. And it's like, oh, let's try this, let's try this. So we're going to, we're going to put a touch of Look, <laughs> that's sweet. That is so cute. Okay, um, maybe a little more feather. Okay, let's, um, I'm gonna lift this up like that. And put that feather right in there. Aww. Then we'll put a little bit of feather over there. Just a little bit of feather over here. See what you can do? You can use your scraps that you've saved and make the cutest little. Now that, my friends, is a little shabby chic fairy. Look at that. Isn't she sweet? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so now you're probably like, okay, now what are you going to do next? Okay, the next thing I want to do is I have this crown uh, hair piece, and this piece is going to be broke off, just like that. And I'm going to put the crown on her head. And to help stable it, I'm actually going to use this um, hair piece here to help stabilize the crown and her body, okay? So, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the bead of glue like that. And press that down like that, okay? And then now the weight of the crown will fit on her head and be stable like that. Isn't that sweet? That's the sweetest damn thing. I'm gonna put a well, little piece of sorry fabric right there. Um because it just it's bugging me that it's there's none there. Um, sometimes you just have to bite the bullet, and I'm going to put just a touch right there. Okay. Trim it down just a little bit. That is so sweet. Okay, and to kind of, uh, I do want to add a little more bling to her. Um, I think I'm going to add this little dangle piece right there. 
um, on her neck part. Let me trim that, okay, on the neck part or, hmm. I think it needs it. That's just me. Okay, and we're going to put it right there. There we go. And she precious. I just love it. So shabby she. I wish she wasn't like blue blue to me she looks blue but it's probably just me okay so now here are plastic snowflakes and I was thinking she looked good on a snowflake Yeah, I like her on a snowflake. Just like that. Okay, so what you're going to do is simply just add glue. Add glue to the... the high point. Okay, and then you're just going to attach her like that. And to double, this little snowflake's not going anywhere. It is so stable. Oh, she's so precious. I love it. I love it. I don't care. I love it. And I'm going to hang her with pearl. See, won't snip off. I'm gonna put the pearl right here. All right. So, my friends, this is how you can use my digital um, uploads and create some beautiful fun uh, ornaments or you can create these little things and adorn them to other projects. I just made ornaments out of mine with pieces that I've had um, left over and there you go. I'm going to snip this one off. There we go. But yeah, so if you haven't done so, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, all of the social media uh, sites links are in the description box down below. Also, the link to my Etsy store where you can purchase this download um, and get that free image um, with the purchase of the download over in my Etsy and print them out and start creating. If you have any trouble with the downloads or you purchased it and you can't get it to download, just let me know and I will send them to you uh, by email. Um, but I wouldn't try to download them on your pad, on your pad, on your um, Apple, you know, your pad or your phone I would use my computer to try and download them I've never had any luck downloading anything on my iPad or whatever so even though they say you can I've never really because you, you just don't print right um so I just use my laptop all right so 
um, there you go. We got two beautiful ornaments. Uh, one you can really sassy up, one you can use other things and uh, stay for detailed photos. And like always, I will see you in the next crafty video. Bye-bye.